What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Sugar Bush Adventure? Crumbs, I said, because I just realized I have 12 minutes of battery, so better make the most of this. Um, there's our uh, adventure goods. We're gonna top a birch tree today. We're gonna collect some almost made syrup and then finish it at home. We're gonna eat some yummy snacks, drink some yummy drinks. Um, partly, I just wanted to tell you how amazing it is in this part of the country to have a sled like that because we're in the in-between season right now can't use a snow machine can't use a four-wheeler because there's still snow banks in the bush but then all the sunny spots are bare grass but this sled it's harder to pull on the grass but it literally goes anywhere i've beaten up on it and it just keeps going super handy Okay, what's changed since the last time I was up here? Got a lot of sap boiled down in here, and uh, I'm gonna draw some of that off. This is the syrup pan, bring it home, finish it, get more sap boiling. This one's full here. And we're gonna try and boil off that 250 liters in the big olive barrel. What's hardly any. Hardly any. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's been a bit off, but it's not over. Oh yeah, hardly any, just a beetle or something, a bug. So maybe we're not connect collecting. Maybe we are not collecting maple sap today, but we are gonna tap some white birch trees. Uh, so I wanna make some white birch syrup this spring and they start after the maples kind of slow down. So it's just about that time. So we'll get a bucket set up there in a couple minutes. Okay, we're going to plug the syrup pan so that the sap doesn't flow into it while we are removing some. And we're just gonna use this bucket to bring some home. I guess a smart guy would strain it at the same time. Um, and one thing I really like about this bucket is that it's graduated so you can read gallons and or liters and you know what's in there. And it's, it's clear enough, it's uh, transparent enough that you can see the liquid level. It's very handy. We're gonna just about fill it up. We'll probably, probably do about 15 liters anyway. This one's a little bit small, but it's really close to the uh, sugar camp, so I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, had a uh, had a lot of a lot of bite. Let's try that again. Now uh, this is a 516. These are the health spiles, and uh, we we'll just. Put them in here if you want to come close just have a little peek the maples aren't aren't running but uh the birches are running today there didn't even need the hammer just uh push and go and uh i quite like these old buckets because they basically last forever and Probably gonna have merch sap by the end of the day. We'll have something to collect. Yeah. Okay, we'll do this one also quickly. This is also a fairly small tree, but it's close by. Uh, we'll tap this one. And. Maybe I'll come back and top them with the hammer after. Just give them a little knock, knock. This one's not going like that one, but. Oh, well, you can hear it. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really going. So just another quick review of the Dominion and Grimm evaporator. So I've got 
a gravity line feeding in on a float check. So as there's demand for sap in the sap pan, this automatically brings it up to the level that you set. There's a transfer box also on a float on this other side. So as you require syrup in the finishing pan, it's gonna pull concentrated sap through. And this model has a little cooktop at the front. So we are gonna come up and we're gonna do a little bit of cooking. Uh, so this is a preview of that video. I'm gonna try out this new stainless pan here. And we're gonna do bear meat cooked in birch sap or bear meat cooked in maple sap. Stay tuned. <laughs> 